What's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> it's nice to see you all. Thanks for coming along. So I have now got eight students. Let's uh, turn, I'm turning on the laptop and pausing it. Um, let's do the register. Uh, I have eight people who managed to submit their homework. Only eight. It's very disappointing. I do know that I only set it yesterday, but it, it was only nine questions. It would have taken you 10 minutes to do it. And you sh uh, guys, I I'm not setting long homeworks here. Do try and make an effort. I understand if you can't, if you can't, you can't. The only person who will, the only person who's going to have a problem with it is going to be you. Because, you know, it is about trying to, Mr. Duncan, I finished my chemistry book and I'm, I, I am on the ropes net right now. <laughs> um, Dom, I think that, A, that's hilarious. Um, but just write it on, do it on your MacBook, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just, I don't know, just do whatever. Buy a book? I don't know. Anyway, have I got Zach? I haven't got Zach yet. I've got, no, I've got Tiffany. I've got Kayla. No, Caitlin's in. Whoop. Do I have Mel? going to say no, no. Have I got Audra? I thought I saw Audra. Wasn't she? The, no, I haven't seen Audra yet. Got Lara, got Atia, got Caitlin, got Dom, got Ryan. Have I got Lynn? Yeah, got Lynn. Have I got Libby? No. I've got Helping. Whoop, whoop. Got Helping. There we go. We're doing well. You should be here. Uh, they should be here soon. We came from music. Hi, Amani. There we go. Yeah, Amani's in. Amani's in. Libby's in. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Doing really well. Missing five people now. Just five. Mr. Duncan, what are your thoughts on becoming a Twitch streamer? I have, I have no idea what one of those is. I mean, uh, I don't know what that is. Audra is here. Yay. Good job. Say hi to Audra for me. <laughs> Got Tiffany. She just rocked up. Love it. What? Audra is here. Oh, Mr. D is a boomer. I don't know what a boomer is. What's a boomer? Like, a, a, I don't get it. I don't understand. You, you, you guys, are, 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 it's so confusing. Uh, yeah. uh. Yeah, I love how everyone's laughing at me. Thanks, guys. You're laughing with me, right? You're laughing with me, not at me. Okay, Boomer. Oh, stop with the Boomer thing. I'm going to mute the Boomer in a minute. Atia, I will mute the boomer, and that'll be you. Yeah, don't be rude, Atia. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm so, definitely laughing with you. Did everyone see my mole? Did you see my mole? I loved my mole. It was amazing. I was having a go at sketching on my, uh, on my Surface Pro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm glad you liked him. He's like, uh, he's the new face for me in chemistry. It's, oh, uh, there's Zach. Yo, Zach. There we go. Zach's in. So just missing Kayla and Mel. Missing Mel and Kayla. Okay, let's crack on, folks. Missing two people. But we could crack on. Let's crack on. The mole was so realistic, I could eat it. Oh. <gasps> No, Don, that's, no, oh, that's very upsetting, it's very upsetting indeed, right, let's share a screen, shall we, booyah, let's go for this one, yep, 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 right, so this is where we left off, guys, this is where we left off, we were talking about gases, Melanie's Wi-Fi is really bad, Okay, sure, 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 sure.
Yeah, I'm out. Well, yeah. Okay. Does that mean that does that mean that Mel is actually here? Is that what happened? Anyway, we were talking about gases and ideal gases and not so ideal gases and uh, and then we picked up our equation and then I just set you a really quick homework to do. I'm going to be setting you a, a quick homework, guys. Most lesson these days. So it is worthwhile making the effort to do these. It will make you a better chemist. I promise. Yeah, so do make the effort. So for those people who submitted, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I can see that eight people have submitted, seven people didn't. So shame on Zach, Kayla, Amani, Audra, Mel, Ananya, and Libby. Shame on you. <laughs> uh, but you guys can mark your own because we're going to go through it now. So... Obviously, I can't then I'm, I'm gonna go through it. So it renders the homework pointless But the turning it in thing just means that I can see that you've done it and It means that then when you mark it, I know that you've had a go. Yeah, so okay Let's go through this together. So find the volume. So number of moles Ooh, in the wrong color definitely in the wrong pen there. So number of moles is V over 24 That's what we've got to remember, but that's in DM cubed and number of moles is V over 24,000 if I'm in centimeters cubed. That's it. That's all I got to know. Uh, oh, Melanie, hi. Please add me to the register. Of course I can. Yeah, can, 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 Mel, in, boom. Just Kayla missing now. If anyone knows where Kayla is, do let me know. Right. So it's giving you moles. And it's asked me to work out the volume. It hasn't given me any units. It's given me, look, standard temperature and pressure, which means I can use the 24, which is great. Um, but we've got to reorganize the equation. So we're just going to stick with V over 24 since it doesn't ask for a particular unit. So number of moles. So just multiply both sides by 24 and it'll vanish from one of the sides. So number of moles times by 24 gives me V in decimeters cubed. I like it. So that now is going to equal 4 multiplied by 24 gives me, well, it's going to be a lot, 4 times 24. It's going to be 96.0 96 dm cubed. That's 3 sig fig. I wouldn't care if you gave me it as 96. Oh, no, no, I tell a lie. Look. 3 sig fig. So I've got to give all my answers to 3 sig fig. Right, next, number of moles times by 24 will give me V. So 0 0.250 multiplied by 24 gives me 0 0.250 multiplied by 24, and I get the answer of 6.00 dm cubed. I've got to add on the 00, zero bit because that gives me the three sig fig. Oh, that's clever. Guys, they've flipped me into grams. So the first thing I've got to do is number of moles is grams over rams, right? So number of moles equals grams, 15, over the relative atomic mass of argon. I don't know what argon is, 40? I don't know. So argon 40? Yeah, smashed it. Ha <laughs> ha, over 40. 15 divided by 40 gives me 0 0.375 moles. Now I can do 0 0.375 multiplied by 24, and I will get times by 24, and I get 9.00 dm cubed. Like it? Like it. Next, same thing again. Grams over rams, number of moles is grams over rams. And CO2 is 44 because carbon is 12, oxygen is 16 times 2, total 44 for carbon dioxide. If you were doing A level, it'd be 44.0. Uh, Mr. Duncan, can you calculate the gas constant when it's not room temperature or standard pressure? Yes, you can, Libby. Um, just to say, by the way, that, okay, you, you guys have what's called the GCSE gas constant. But in reality, there's actually a different gas constant as well. Um, and I'm happy to teach you that. If you want to, I'm happy to give an A-level class on calcs, if you like, to want to you guys as an extra. Happy, happy, can, can. 
Uh, I'd really like to do that, actually. I think you'd really benefit from it. Um, so I'm going to do grams over rams, which is going to give me 0 0.220 divided by 44 gives me equals 5 times 10 to the minus 3 moels. And then, yes, teachers. <laughs> I love A-level calculations, please. Can, can. Absolutely. Going to multiply that by 24, and I'm going to get a volume of 0 0.120 dm cubed. Wow. Tiny amount, I guess, that. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Next, find the number of moles. Find the number of moles of the following gases. So they've given us a volume. Okay, so number of moles is V over 24. If, if I'm in dm cubed. And in this case, I am. I'm in dm here. So brilliant, just insert my numbers. 48 over 24 gives me 2.00, three sig fig, remember? Yeah, moles, moels. There you go. Next, same thing again. Number of moles is V over 24, which is number of moles is 1.2 over 24, gives me 1.2 divided by 24, gives me 0 0.05, ooh, zero, zero, technically three sig fig, was it three sig fig or three decimal? Yeah, three significant figures. That's a bit of a tricky one, that. Because you have to go past it because the first significant figure was the five. And that's going to give me moels. Next, oxygen. Oh, look. They've given it to us in centimeters. Trixy, tricksy people. V over 24,000. So I'm going to have 360 over 24,000 gives me 360 over 24,000 gives me 0 0.0150 moels. Cool, I like it. Next, find the mass of the following. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Find the mass. So we need, we're, we're asking to find grams. So we get this, what we're this, this section is now doing is bringing together the two calculations. So number one, I've been given the volume of a gas, so I'm gonna have to use V over 24 to work out the moles. So 7.20 over 24 gives me, 7.2 7 divided by 24 gives me 0 0.300 moles. And then I can do number of moles is grams over rams, and I'm looking for grams, so reorganize, times both sides by rams. It's gonna make that one disappear. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 0 0.300 multiplied by, what's the weight of ammonia? Nitrogen weighs 14, hydrogen weighs one times three, ammonia weighs 17. Multiply it by 17, times by 17, and I get an answer of 5.10 grams. Ticket if you've got it, folks. Next, uh, oh, again, they're being tricky. Yeah, they've given us in centimeters cubed. They're just making us practice recognizing units. We're into 24,000, so 480 over 24,000. It's gonna give me how many moles? 480 over 24,000. Do you know what? Which gives me 0 0.0, ooh, it would have been a factor of 10 out. 0 0.0200 moles, right? Number of moles is grams over rams, but then number of moles times by rams gives me grams. So I'm gonna multiply that number by the weight of nitrogen. Now nitrogen on the periodic table is 14, but it's in a pair, folks. Yeah, it's in a pair. So I've gotta multiply it by two times by two and I get 28. So I'm gonna multiply that answer by 28, times by 28 and I get 0 0.560 grams. Ticket if you've got it, folks. Next, 100 centimeters cubed, same process. Number of moles is 100 over 24,000 because I'm in centimeters cubed, yeah. So I switch then to 24,000, 
100 divided by 24,000 gives me 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. I'm then going to rearrange number of moles equals grams over rams. Bring the rams over there. Yeah, so times that by the rams. What does oxygen weigh? Well, oxygen on the periodic table is 16, but it's in a pair. Oxygen gas weighs 32. So I'm going to multiply that by 32. Times by, times by 32 gives me 0 0.133 grams. Take it if you got it. Yay, that took me all of 10 minutes. Yeah, and it's just, guys, this is just practicing using my equations. That's all this is. Yeah, so for those people who handed it in, for those people who handed it in, I'd like to take a score, which would be ace. Uh, uh oh. Oh, no. Don't know where it is. Um, uh oh. Hang on. Hang on. I've lost it. I lost it. Oh, no. Hang on. Is it in my downloads? Might be in downloads. Nope. Bank statement. Nope. Don't want that. Documents. Nope. Definitely don't want that. I've lost my mark sheet. Oh, no. So what happens when you tidy up. Uh, um, 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 um. Oh, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Plan there. Yeah. I had nine people turn in the end. Well done. Good job. Good job, everybody. Right. So the big question is, right, let's see if I can get that back up. Right. Can... Um, Sophia, how many did you get? Can everyone just submit their values? Um, it, the que it's going to be out of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's out of ten. Whoop. Thanks, Libby. Thank you. So the question is, out of ten, how many did people get? That's all I want. Just tell me what you got out of ten, and I'll make a note. You guys can just post on the chat when you know how many you got out of 10. Cool. Right. So today's lessons, folks. Oh, today's an exciting lesson. Nine out of 10. How paying? Well done. Great job. Uh, I don't know what that means. Ten, is that 10 o'clock? That looks like 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I love this. Well done. Ananya, great job. Nine out of 10. That's great. Fab. Well done. Awesome. Guys, great job. Right. New title today, a very exciting title. I'll zoom out a bit. Reacting Mass Calcs. Now, guys, these are all high level. Yeah, Audra, well done. Helping just says o'clock. Oh, 10 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> um, these are all of these questions now are tricky, folks. Uh, it's already maxed out. Uh, these are all kind of love, love six, love six to nine, these questions, folks. Great job, everybody. Really pleased. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That's great. You guys are fab. Um, okay, so today's title is Reacting Mass Calculations and Our Learning Objectives. I actually put my learning objectives onto the classroom. Uh, sorry, onto the um, onto the description. I figured that was a really good idea. So the first one was I just need you guys to know the steps. Steps in reacting mass calcs. That's the first one I need you to do. So we're going to do that today. We're going to go through it, walk through the steps of it. I need you guys to understand mole ratios that's actually a really important step that one folks that one there for me has become a focus as i the, the longer i talk for the more i realize that that step there is the big one yeah and the last one is i need you to understand or be able to use all moles equations yeah so the first thing i think it's good to do def definitely worth doing is 
let's just write down, let's just produce a lovely, lovely set of equations. Number of moles, grams over rams. Booyah. Number of moles, C times V over a thousand. And then number of moles is V over 24. Cool. I like it. I always like to put with these calculations, with these particular things, that there is centimeters cubed and this there is DM cubed. I always like to do that. I just remember it making a difference when I was revising a GCSE. So the, this, I need you guys to be able to move between these kind of really, really easily. You need to be slick. That's what we need to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach this lesson through a question. So question, I'm gonna say that I'm going to take, hmm, what shall I make? Uh, let's make salt, I like that one. I'm gonna grab some sodium metal, silver shiny sodium metal, silver and shiny. Yeah. Silver and shiny sodium metal. There we go. I'm going to go and buy some toxic chlorine gas. Nasty, nasty gas. Can anyone remember what color it is? No. It's not yellow, babe. Have another go. No. It's green, like the swimming pools. We're gonna buy toxic green clouds. It looks like I've just drawn a face on it. That's hilarious. There we go. A cloud of, it still looks like it's got a face. I don't like it. I'll do. I don't really like it, but whatever. There we go. Toxic green chlorine gas. Yes, green like Shrek. <laughs> sure. And we're gonna we're gonna put these in the same jar and we're gonna heat them up and boom, we're gonna form white household salt. We're literally gonna take isn't that awesome? That there is the true magic of chemistry. Right there. Yeah. White crystalline. Yeah. It's got little crystals in it. White crystalline sodium chloride. Household salt. Household salt. I hope you guys realize that that really is magical. You take two things. I have got a, um, indeed, green like decomposing bodies. Wow, Lynn, you just, wow, like, wow. Uh, balance, thank you very much, Tiffany. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, I do need to balance it, thank you. So I need one sodium, one sodium, one sodium. I've got two chlorines, got one chlor, oh no. Need to balance, there we go. Two chlorines, two chlorines, there we go. Two in there and a two here, amazing. So balance for chlorines, but now sodium's changed. So then we got two sodiums, and then we've got two sodiums. And just to also say that there is, there is an invisible one right there. That's important for today's lesson, yeah? You're absolutely right, always got to balance. First step in any chemistry. Right, so the question now is, question now is, how much salt do, so here's the question. How, hmm, let's go, how much, how much salt can I make? How much salt can I make from dot, dot, dot? Yeah, number one, A. I'm gonna say 50 grams 
of sodium. Now, what this now means is sodium metal. We now have to make a big assumption here. Whenever they do this, you have to make a huge assumption. That's the end of the question, by the way. That's what they're going to do. They're going to give you that at GCSE. Uh, and you have to, the assumption, 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 you also have loads of coin. You just have to make an assumption that you've got enough of the other person in order to make this. Yeah, we just have to make that assumption. So guys, can you now put a new little heading in? And if you want to change your color, you can. I'm gonna change mine. Steps, steps in reacting mass. Okay, step number one, step one, chemists, year 10, chemists don't work in grams. What do we work in? <laughs> my my fiancé out, uh, outside is shouting the answer at me. What do we work in year 10? Come on. Yes, Imani! Imani's a winner. Imani, well done. D how ping? Imani, you, you're the winner? And Ananya! In <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Like, you're right, we do work in labs. We definitely don't work in liters. No, Ananya, definitely not liters. We work in moles. Yeah? Chemists work. I'm going to keep asking that question until you guys all get it right. We do work in labs, though. The giant mole on my forehead. Dom, have you printed out my picture and sellotaped it to your forehead? That's what it sounds like. Chemists work in moles. So step one. Step one. Get to moles. Get to moles. Right, so how do we get to moles? And the answer is sodium. We've been given 50 grams of sodium. So I'm gonna go number of moles. Moles equals grams over rams. What does sodium metal weigh on my table? Sodium weighs 23. So it's gonna be over 23. I like it. Thanks very much, Dom. Spot on, dude. 50 over 23. Great job, my man. 2.17 moles. But uh, now year 10, because we're now at the higher end of GCSE, I now need to do one really important thing, which is I have written down my rounded answer to three sig fig, but I've kept that number on my calculator because I'm going to need it. Yeah, right. Step two, step two. Now that we've got to moles, we can use, use the mole ratio. And the mole ratio comes from the equation. This is from equation. Let's look at what that looked like. It looked like this. Here's my mole ratio, guys. So I'm gonna write down two, double dot, one, double dot, two. There's my mole ratio. That there, this bit here, is worth a mark at GCSE. That bit, right there. Some students like to do this. Some students like to go NA, two, CL2, one. They like to write it down like this. I've got no problem with that at all. Yeah, that's the right answer right there. Two, one, two. Right. Well, we've just worked out the number of moles of sodium. Right, where's that in my equation? It's here. 
So I've just worked out that we've got 2.17 moles of sodium. Right, how do I get from that number to that one and from that number to that one? In fact, hang on a minute, what was the question? The question said, how much salt can I make? Ah, oh, that's nice. Because look at the number. What's the ratio? It's a two to two. Well, if I put, therefore put in 2.17, how much salt am I going to make in moles? See who posts on the chat first. Come on, Amani. I know you can do this. No. Uh, loads of people answering. That's great. Well done. Look at this. This is great. Amani, you're not quite right. What the mole ratio says. It's the mole ratio says, if I had two moles, I would make two moles. It's the same number. If the ratio is the same number, then it just copies across. So I can just go, ah, I'm going to make 2.17. Here's my next question to you folks. How much chlorine do I need to buy? Just going to put that one out to the class. Half of it. Well done, Caitlin. Well done, Lara. Libby, whatever that is, divided by two. Absolutely right. Spot on. Well done. That's great. So it's, yeah, well done, Zach. Great job. So it's the understanding that the mold, the equation, we balance equations for this. That says if I had two, I'd need one. We've just got to divide it by two. So let's divide that by two. And I'm going to get 1.085. I like it. Okay. So now that we're at this point, now that we're in moles, and we've got all the way across, so use the mole ratio. Step three, get out of moles. Get out of moles. Right, half and Anya, well done, spot on. Great job, guys. I love teaching you guys. You guys are gonna be the best chemists that I have ever made. That is my mission. You guys are going to be the best. Right. So now we need to get out of moles, guys. How do I get out of moles? Well, what was the question? How much salt? Do I want the mass? Right. So we need to do number of moles is grams over rams. But I'm now going to reorganize it because I want the mass. So I'm going to bring the rams over to this side. Yeah, times, times both sides by rams makes rams disappear. So I don't know what accent I'm trying to do here. I don't know. Oh, no. It's kind of weird. Yorkshire, Scottish. Ah. So the next question is, I need to multiply this by the weight. What is the weight of chlorine? Right, guys, on the periodic table, can someone give me the weight of chlorine gas, please? Use the table. Be careful. Yeah, chlorine gas. What's its relative molecular mass? <sighs> Having a nice drink uh, of ice water there. Lovely. Lovely. Need to multiply that by the way to salt as well. 71, Lara smashed it. Great job, young lady. So chlorine weighs 35.5, but it's in a pair. Yeah, Cl2, chlorine gas weighs 71. So I need to multiply this by 71. How much does salt weigh? How much does salt weigh? Well, sodium weighs 23 and chlorine is 35.5, ah, giving me a total of 58.5. So multiply that by 58.5 and what am I going to get? Right, and that's the last step, get out of moles. Yeah, that's it. So the question is, how much am I going to get? I'm just going to make that bit vanish. Yeah, I've got the ratio just up there. So what is 1.085 times by 71? Go. I'm going to get 77.04. Oh, 
No, 77 grams. How much sodium did I have? 50. I had 50 grams of sodium. So what am I going to now have? If you said 90, oh, plus 70. No, and now you remember chlorine gas. We were working out the mass of chlorine gas, which is Cl2. There's two of them in chlorine. We remember that the particles are joined together in a pair like this. And each one weighs 35.5. But now once I've reacted it with salt, what I now have is sodium joined onto chlorine. So I've got a different number of them. So that's going to equal 58.5. And then, oh, oh yeah. So now I'm going to multiply 58.5 multiplied by 2.17. And I get an answer of 127 grams. And guys, look at the magic. Look at the magic, the chemistry magic. What does this side add up to? It's magic, in it? It's like, it's like proper magic, like chemistry magic. Adds up to 127. Boom! Yeah! I like it. Are you ready for you? So, step one, get to moles. Step two, use ratio. Step three, get out of moles. Guys, this is as easy as that. Are you ready for your first question? Question number two. Right, hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas goes to water. That's a French for water, if you don't know. Going to give you a balanced equation. Yeah, I'm going to give you 25 grams of oxygen. Here's my question to you folks. How much water and how much hydrogen am I going to make? Please pause the video now, have a go or attempt the question, and then please resume the video to check your answer. Step number one. Step one, get to moles, right? Number of moles equals grams over rams, right? So number of moles is 25 over, what does oxygen weigh? Oxygen is 16 on the table, but it's in a pair, so it weighs 32. So I'm going to do 25 divided by 32. It's going to spit out 0 0.7, 0 0.781 moles. Right, what's the ratio? The ratio, mole ratio, step two, step two, two, one, two. Right. I even trying to line them up. Look at this. I'm trying to be like super posh here, lining everything up. Right. So now I've got that many moles. I want to go from here to here and here to here. They are both times by two. So I'm going to do 0. I've kept that number on my calculator. Times by two gives me 1.56 moles of that guy. And also 1.56 moles of that guy. There you go. Use my ratio. Step three, get out of moles. Yeah. Get two moles. Get moles. Step one, use ratio. Step three, out of moles. Right. So I want the mass of each one. I want the mass. So number of moles is grams over rams. I'm going to reorganize it. Therefore, number of moles times by rams gives me grams. Right. So I need to multiply these by their weights. So the question now is, question now is, how much does hydrogen weigh? Well, that's one that everyone tends to learn because it's the lightest of everything. It weighs two. We know that hydrogen on the periodic table, its mass is one, but it's in a pair. Remember, this number here has been used in the ratio. Yeah, so try not to worry about that. It's been used in the ratio. How heavy is hydrogen? It weighs two. So times it by two. Gives me three, oh, three, 
two, no, round up, 0.3.13 grams. Right, how do I get to water? Again, another one that most people learn because it's so common. Water is obviously H2O. The oxygen weighs 16, the hydrogens both weigh one. Total weight of water is 18, A level 18.0. So I'm gonna take that 1.56, multiply it by 18, and what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get 28 grams. 28, in fact, I've actually got 28 point, oh, hang on a sec, suddenly realized I've lost a significant figure here, folks. Uh, just gonna check that one again. Um, am I back? Has this just brought me back? Guys, can you see me all right? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. It's just brought me straight back in. I don't know why my computer just did that. Return of the King. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, um, um, thanks. 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 <laughs> okay, let's go back to this. Uh, and luckily, my... my uh, my notes, of course, are all saved as well, which is nice. Yep, 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 yep. So I was just going back and then I was just doing my, my maths on this. So anyway, 18 multiplied by 1.56, and I got 28.08 on mine. But the thing is, I've lost a value, haven't I, because I've lost a bit in the rounding because I used that number previously on the calculator earlier and I lost it. But I've got 28. Oh, let's try and actually... Go back to my how I was doing it before. Yeah, I've got 28.1 grams. And what you'll notice is, if you ignore that one there, it all adds up. 28.1, whoop, whoop, yay. Isn't that magic? Because remember, whatever goes in must come out. So this adds up. That adds up to 28.1 grams. Yeah, conservation of mass. It is, it is magic, it is amazing. Did anybody get it? Did anyone have a go on their own and, or yours? Oh no, oh no, you're still looking at this, you're looking at the ceiling. Oh no, <gasps> I'll share, my bad, my bad. <laughs> this, this is a, uh, this isn't going well today, is it? Thanks so much. There we go, we're back. Yay, sorry about that folks. There we go. Just seeing my forehead, wow. What a great forehead it is though. A handsome forehead, thanks Tom, thanks. Oh, Dom, you're my favorite today. <laughs> right. Are you ready for question number three? Everyone have a go at this one. Okay. 
going to make it harder for you folks. Going to make it harder, harder. So question number three. So we're going to make ammonia. Now this, the reason why I always bring this reaction up. Uh, oh, sorry, made a mistake there. There you go. That arrow there means it's reversible. That's what it means. You don't need to know anything about it up to now. Uh, Going to give you it balanced. There we go. And I'm going to give you 100 grams of nitrogen, right? How much hydrogen do I need and how much ammonia am I going to make? Off you go, year 10s. Go. You may now pause the video. Have a go and attempt the question. And then unpause the video when you need some help. Go. Answer. <laughs> oh. ah, okay. Step one. Step one. Get into moles. Yeah, find moles. So number of moles is grams over grams. So number of moles equals grams 100. How much does nitrogen weigh? Well, nitrogen on the periodic table is 14, but it's in a pair. So it weighs 28. Again, another common question. So it's a just so it weighs 28 because it's N2. So 100 divided by 28 gives me 3.57 moles. Moles. That's a moles. Ah, moles. Moles. Uh, is that Italian? And then there's uh, um, nope, can't do any others. Nope, lost it. It's gone. So we've got that many moles of nitrogen. Right, step two, ratio. So what's my ratio? So my ratio is one to three to two. So I'm going to write that down. One to three to two. Okay, so how do I get from one to three? That's just times by three. So I'm going to take the number that I just got and multiply it by three. That gives me, so I'm going to times that there by three, and I'm going to get 10.71 moles. Next, how do I get from here to here? Well, you can see that one from there to there, from one to two, it's we need to times it by two. So we're going to go back to that answer. Yeah, 3.57142871, and I'm going to multiply it by two, and I get 7.14 moles. I like it. All to three significant figures. Right, now that we've used the ratio, we've used ratio, now we just need to get out of the moles. Step three, get out. Yeah, step three, get out out of moles so this just depends on what they want and in this case i'm just asking for the mass each time so just want you to rearrange grams over rams number of moles equals grams over rams i have to do this every time i've been writing that equation down folks for 15 years terrifying times both sides by rams yeah it gives me grams so I need to multiply these by their MRs. How much does hydrogen weigh again? We've already used that one. It weighs two. It's the lightest of all the substances. How much does ammonia weigh? Ammonia is nitrogen 14 plus hydrogen one times three. N ammonia weighs 17. So I'm gonna multiply that there by 17. And we're gonna get my masses. So I've got 7.14 multiplied by 17 gives me 121.4 grams. Next one, 10.71 multiplied by 2 gives me 21.4 grams. Isn't that amazing? And look, 
121.4 grams. Spot on. Would you get the mark in an exam if you kept the mole ratios as fractions? No, you're not allowed to do that. Libby, I'm really glad you said that. No, you can't. You, you're not allowed to leave anything as a fraction at any stage in chemistry. It's seen as an incomplete calculation. Yeah, you have to get to, to real numbers. You can't leave it as an incomplete calculation. I'm really glad you asked that, Libby. Thank you for that. Let me show you where the marks come from. One mark for the relative atomic mass or molecular mass. Yeah, and then one mark for the moles answer. So you would lose, Libby, you would lose that mark there if you left, if you put it in as a fraction. Yeah, then you get the ratio for one mark. Then you get the, um, the moles and then you get your grams at the end. Uh, no, we're going to get moles as well, so it's going to be five. Can you use four significance figures when calculate the end and give three? Yes, you can actually, Lara. Yes, you can. They'll allow you to. They don't really care until you get to the final answer. They don't really mind. So, yes, absolutely. Great question. Thanks for asking. Nate, are you ready for question number four? How are we doing for time? Oh, my goodness, there's only three minutes left. Holy moly. Question number four. Right. Um, we're going to take, no, too big. Let's go for ethane, C2H, double it and add two, four, six. We're going to burn it in oxygen and we're going to make CO2 and water. And water. Right, let's balance it. Two carbons, two carbons, six hydrogens, six hydrogens, four seven, oh, that's awkward, 3.5, 3.5 goes in there, but you can't, you're going to double everything, two, seven, four, and six, right, we're going to burn one kilogram of ethane, what mass of carbon dioxide and water, and what mass of oxygen do I need to do this? Off you go, folks. So at the end calculation, it needs to be the whole number. Well, it just needs to be a, a real number. It needs to be a decimal figure or to one, like three significant figures. It has to, you can't leave anything as a fraction ever in chemistry. They don't exist. Sorry. Pause the video and have a go at the question. If you get stuck, unpause the video and repause the video if you find this useful. <laughs> it's my best elevator voice. Right. Step number one, get to moles. Number of moles, grams over lambs. Right. Well, the problem is that's not in grams. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. I'm going to get a mark for that. Boom, thanks very much. Right, gonna lob it straight into, into calculation. Number of moles equals 1,000 grams over. How much does ethane weigh? Yeah, no. Ca two carbons, 12 plus 12 plus six. Where's 30? 30, there we go. 1,000 divided by answer, 33.33 moles. I've given it to four as well, Lara. Totally agree with you. Yeah. Right. Step two. Ratio. Yeah. What's the ratio? It is a two to seven to four to six. Right. How do I get from two to seven? Now, that's interesting, isn't it? Does anyone know how to do that? It's a really sneaky trick. It's really clever. Divide it by two, then times it by seven. Yeah, I prefer doing it my way at here, but I think it's still, you're right, it absolutely does. Uh, does, does yeah, it still works, yeah. 
I just see I see the numbers better in my head when I do it like that. Because if I divide it by two, I get to one. If I want to get one from seven, I just multiply it by seven. It's the problem is if you get two to nine or three to eight, it becomes awkward. Yeah, the maths is just as long as you know how to do it stepwise, I'm happy. So I need to do 33.33 divided by two to get me to one mole, then times by seven to get to seven moles. So I'm going to get 100, whoops, 116.7 moles. Right, how do I get from two to four? Well, that's an easy one. Times by two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Gives you the same number. Respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. So I've got 33.33. No, 33.33. Times two gives me 66.66 .66 moles. And then how do I get from two to six? Times by three. 3.33 3, 3, 3 times by six, no. Times by three gives me, gives me 99.99 .99 moles, right? Now that we've got to moles, we just need to get out of them. Step three, get out of them. Step three, number of moles equals grams over rams, but I want grams. So number of moles times by rams gives me grams. How much does each one weigh? How much does oxygen weigh, folks? You come across it so often. It's there so frequently. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do we leave the final answer in grams or kilograms? Ah, whichever one you fancy, whichever one seems to make more sense to you, Lara. Yeah, times by oxygen is 16 on the table, but it's in a pair. It weighs 32. So take 116.7 times by 32, and I get 3,000. Wowza. 3.7. Three kilograms. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of oxygen needed. Right. Next, how much carbon dioxide did I need? Um, am I going to make times that by 44? The relative molecular mass carbon is 12. Oxygen is 16 times 2. Total for CO2 is 44. 66.66 times 44. I'm going to get 2.93 kilograms of CO2. And how much water am I going to make? Water weighs 18. Everyone knows that. Yeah, oxygen doesn't weigh 16, remember? Oxygen weighs 32 because it's in a pair. Watch it. 99.99 times 18. And I get 1. I get 1.8. Zero, zero kilograms, right? Guys, add them up. What's the total weight on that side? 2.93 plus 1.8 gives me 4.73 kilograms, which is exactly what I have on that side. Winner! Isn't it great being able to check to see if you're right? It's magic. Right, guys? Oh, it's been so good to teach you guys, as always. You guys are just my favorites. I love you guys. There you go, guys. Right. Guys, I will, I'm will. i going to post on the classroom another worksheet. Not many questions. Very few. Only one sheet. I think there's only five. Yeah. I'd like you to have a go this evening, and then I'll go through them next lesson. Is that all right? I will post them immediately. Guys, have a great rest of your day. It's been so nice to see you all, as always. Take care. Have a nice day.